In this video, we're going to be learning how to import and edit collisions for uh, part of the map. Let's say you wanted to edit the collisions for this part of the building. You wanted to remove this sign or something. First, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to import the, the model and its Y map so it's positioned. Um, These are the same models from the previous video. So if you haven't watched that to see how I'm and I'm doing this, you can do that. But um, once we've got this imported, I'm just going to clear out the Y maps. And now we have this set up. We can go ahead and go back into Code Walker, change the selection type here under the selection tab to Collision. Should be in the middle here and just click on one of these boxes like this and you can copy the name um you see here it says hi and then the at symbol this means like it's like the high um high quality like higher definition version this is usually only for weapons so what we're going to do is try and find a different one that's not the high uh high version so this one here is, isn't so we're just going to copy the name go to the rpf explorer and we're just going to search this and then we're going to if there's multiple here what we're going to do is we're just going to copy the ones from the bottom of the list we're going to import the or we're going to export the normal one and the high uh, version then we can go into blender go to the import button and import the high and normal ybn's might take a second depending on how good your PC is, but usually it doesn't take too long. Now that we have our collisions imported, we're just going to up here in the top right, press shift and click the I for the high version. And then we're just going to select this box here. We can press X to delete. I'm just going to do this for the rest of the sign. Let's say you wanted just this gone. And then we're just going to uh, hide the normal version and unhide the high version. We're just going to repeat it for the uh, high definition version as well. Now we've edited both of these. What you can do is just select both and click export to XML. Then we can go back to the RPF Explorer and drag in our XMLs. And if you view it here, you'll see that the sign collisions aren't there anymore.